The Complete History and Mythology of Goblin Goblins are one of the most pervasive and intriguing creatures in folklore, appearing in myths and stories across various cultures. These mischievous beings are typically small, grotesque, and often malevolent, embodying the darker side of human fears and superstitions. Although their exact characteristics can vary widely depending on the region and the storyteller, goblins are generally seen as troublemakers known for playing tricks on people, stealing, and causing chaos. The origin of goblin myths is deeply rooted in European folklore, with the term goblin believed to have been derived from the Greek word kobalos, meaning rogue, evil spirit. Over time, the concept of goblins evolved, with different cultures adding their own twists to these mythical creatures. They can be found in tales from countries like England, Gotland, Germany, and even as far as Japan, each with unique interpretations and characteristics. Physical Characteristics the physical appearance of goblins varies greatly across different cultures, but they are often depicted as small, humanoid creatures with grotesque features. In many stories, goblins are described as having sharp, twisted features, with long noses, pointed ears, and sometimes even horns. Their skin is often portrayed in various shades of green, gray, or brown, emphasizing their connection to the earth and the natural world. Goblins are also frequently associated with a certain level of deformity adding to their frightening and repulsive image. They are typically shown as having crooked limbs, hunched backs, and sharp claws. Despite their small size, goblins are often depicted as being surprisingly strong and agile, capable of causing significant harm if they so choose. Their appearance is a reflection of their malevolent nature, designed to instill fear and discomfort in those who encounter them. Goblins in European Folklore European folklore is rich with tales of goblins, each region adding its own flair to the mythos. In English folklore, goblins are often portrayed as mischievous, but not necessarily evil, causing minor annoyances like hiding household items or spoiling food. These goblins are similar to the brownies of Scottish lore, who, while generally helpful, can turn nasty if disrespected. In Germanic folklore, goblins take on a more sinister role. The kobold, type of goblin from German legend is known for living in mines and causing accidents, often leading to the injury or death of miners. These creatures were feared for their ability to shapeshift and their tendency to lead people astray. The darker nature of Germanic goblins reflects the dangerous and unpredictable world of medieval Europe, where people were at the mercy of natural forces they could not control. Goblins in Non-European Culture while goblins are most commonly associated with European folklore, similar creatures appear in the myths and legends of other cultures as well. In Japan, for instance, there is a creature called the Tengu, which shares many similarities with goblin. Tengu are often depicted as bird-like goblins, with both human and avian features known for their trickery and martial prowess. They are seen as both protectors and antagonists, embodying the duality of nature. In Filipino folklore, there is a creature known as the duende, which can be likened to a goblin. Duendes are small, dwarf-like beings that live in houses or mounds, and can be either helpful or malevolent, depending on how they are treated by humans. These stories highlight the universality of goblin-like creatures, suggesting a shared human experience of the unknown and the supernatural. Regardless of geographic location, goblin behavior and characteristics, Goblins are typically depicted as mischievous, malevolent beings with a penchant for causing trouble. Their behavior ranges from harmless pranks, like switching around household items, to more dangerous activities, such as leading travelers astray or even kidnapping children. They are often seen as creatures of the night, emerging from their hiding places after dark to wreak havoc on unsuspecting humans. In many stories, goblins are also associated with greed and cunning. They are often depicted as hoarders collecting shiny objects, gold, other treasures. This aspect of their character reflects human anxieties about greed and selfishness. Goblins are rarely portrayed as purely evil, though. They are more often seen as morally ambiguous creatures whose actions, while troublesome, are not entirely devoid of logic or reason. Goblin Homes and Habitat Goblins are often depicted as living in dark, secluded places away from human civilization. Caves, forests, and underground lairs are common habitats for these creatures, 
symbolizing their connection to the earth and the unknown. In some tales, goblins are said to dwell in the attics or basements of houses, adding an eerie element to their mythos. They can be closer to humans than one might think. In other stories, goblins are portrayed as living in community, similar to human societies, but with their own twisted and malevolent rules. These goblin societies are often depicted as chaotic and brutal, where only the strongest and most cunning survive. The idea of goblins living in hidden, dark places reflects the fear of the unknown and the unseen, common themes in folklore and mythology. Goblins in Literature Goblins have made numerous appearances in literature, often serving as antagonists or symbols of chaos and mischief. One of the most famous literary depictions of goblins is in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit, where they are portrayed as malevolent creatures living in the Misty Mountains. Tolkien's goblins are cruel, cunning, and warlike, representing the darker side of industrialization and its impact on nature. In Christina Rossetti's poem, Goblin Market, Goblins are depicted as sinister merchants who tempt the protagonists with exotic fruits. The goblins in this poem symbolize temptation and the dangers of giving in to one's desires. Through these literary works, goblins have been cemented in popular culture as representations of the darker aspects of human nature and society. Goblins in Modern Media In modern media, goblins continue to be a popular subject, appearing in films, video games, and television shows. They are often depicted as low-level enemies, or minor villains, embodying their traditional role as troublesome, malevolent creatures. For example, in the Harry Potter series, goblins are portrayed as skilled bankers who run Gringotts, the wizarding bank. These goblins are intelligent and cunning, with a strict sense of business ethic, and can sometimes border on the ruthless. Video games often depict goblins as enemies that players must defeat, such as in World of Warcraft, or the Elder Scrolls series. In these games, goblins are usually portrayed as crafty, resourceful creatures, often skilled in engineering and alchemy. Portrayal of goblins in modern media has kept their myth alive, continually adapting their image to fit new narratives, while maintaining their core characteristics. Goblin Symbolism Goblins are rich in symbolism, often representing the darker, more mischievous aspects of human nature. They embody the fears and anxieties that people have about the unknown, chaotic, and the unpredictable. Goblins often serve as a metaphor for greed, selfishness, and the consequences of indulging in base desires. Their trickster nature also symbolizes the disruption of order and the subversion of societal norms. On a deeper level, goblins can be seen as representations of the human subconscious, embodying the primal instincts and desires that lurk beneath the surface of civilization. They are reminders of the wild, untamed aspects of the world that cannot be easily controlled or understood. This symbolic richness is one reason why goblins have remained a compelling figure in folklore and popular culture. Goblin Folklore in Different Regions In different regions, Goblin folklore takes on unique characteristics, influenced by local beliefs and custom. In Scandinavian folklore, for instance, goblins are often conflated with trolls, large, brutish creatures that live in the mountains and are hostile to humans. These trolls share many characteristics with goblins, including their love of treasure and their aversion to sunlight, which turns them to stone. In Spain and Latin America, the goblin-like duende is often depicted as a mischievous house spirit that can be both helpful and troublesome. The duende is said to live in the walls of houses and can become angry if the household is not kept clean or if the inhabitants disrespect its space. These regional variations show how the goblin myth has been adapted to fit different cultural contexts, while still retaining its core themes of mischief and malevolence. Goblins and Superstitions superstitions surrounding goblins have persisted for centuries, many believing that these creatures can influence daily life. In some cultures, it is considered bad luck to speak of goblins openly, as doing so might attract their attention. To ward off goblins, people would often carry charms or talismans such as iron, salt, or specific herbs, which were believed to repel these malevolent beings. There were also rituals and practices designed to appease goblins or prevent them from causing harm. In some regions, offerings of food or drink would be left out at night to placate the goblins and ensure they did not cause trouble. 
These superstitions highlight the pervasive influence of goblin myths on people's everyday lives and their deep-seated fear of the unknown, the enduring legacy of goblins. The myth of goblins has endured for centuries, evolving and adapting to fit the cultural context of different eras and regions. Despite the many variations in their depiction, goblins consistently represent the chaotic, unpredictable forces that exist on the fringes of human experience. Their presence in folklore and popular culture serves as a reminder of the darker aspects of life that are often just out of sight, waiting to disrupt the order of things. Goblins continue to captivate the imagination, whether as symbols of mischief and chaos, or as cautionary figures warning against greed and selfishness. Their enduring legacy is a testament to the power of myth to encapsulate complex human emotions and fears, ensuring that goblins will remain a fascinating and enduring part of our collective imagination for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.